Hey everyone, just doing another little modification to the old Greenfield E2000 here. Uh, I've seen this done on a few other models on YouTube. I thought I'd give it a go for the old Greenfield. Um, it's called Poor Man's Power Steering. So anyone that's got one of these knows that the uh, steer is a little bit heavy on them. But uh, effectively what we're doing, purchased a couple of these little bearings from eBay. It's just a little flat bearing with two flat washers. It's 17 mil inner diameter, 30 mil outer diameter. So that will fit over our kingpin just once we give it a clean. Uh, so all we're gonna do is drop the kingpin out and we place the, I'll give it a bit of a clean up. We'll get a bit more focus there for you. And place the the two washers and the bearing down in here. Um, we'll give all this a clean up, might pull the wheels off as well. Um, yeah, and then we'll have another go and see what steering's like. Oh, I just spent the best part of half an hour looking for my camera stand and I can't find it, so I'm going to bypass that and go straight to having to play with this. Now these, you have to deal with the shaky camera work, sorry. Wheel bearings on this are probably pretty gone. I'll need doing it at some point, but uh, that's all right. Um, so there's the kingpin that we're going for. See if we can pop, this is just held in with a little um, spring-loaded clip. So I'm trying to get that off. Okay, I'm a little bit harder with one hand, which is why I was looking for my... Okay, Might be a two-handed job. We'll see how it goes. Might have to get that off and I'll start this back again. We'll get, get that off, give all this a nice clean. Uh, we'll start the video again for you. All right, little update. So I just got two of those retaining washers there. These guys, that's why I was a little bit tricky to get off and then flat washer on top, so leave that. Um, it won't drop all the way out because it's connected to the steering arm. So it's almost out. I'll just drop this out. This is all a bit worn too. She's um, there's a bush that sits in there. She's pretty gone, but I had a few lawns before I got onto it. Um, so I'll drop this out. That's our kingpin out. That's just a uh, plastic washer for there. So this one's got an existing, so I guess thrust washer there. We'll chuck that out. Give this guy a clean up. Um, then. We'll pack that bearing with some just some multi-purpose grease there. The old mechanics trick, just put a, a plastic bag into the tub so your hands don't get too dirty. Um, so give this a clean up and then um, start putting it back together. All right, she's all cleaned up. So like I said, I took the, the old thrust washer off the bottom so there's nothing there, just metal. And one of our flat washers, um, decent dose of grease on that that bearing and then the other washer goes on there um i don't have my grease gun this does have a grease nipple here i don't have my grease gun ready so we'll just give it a healthy uh, dose on the pink pin and that should sit back up in there quite nicely there we are so she's back in you can already feel the difference there so i'll get that uh, where are we? We've got the flat washer there, we'll give her a clean up, and then those two retaining washers on the top. Um, yeah, I'll get it together. Might try and set up my me, me camera on the fence or something over there, so you can see the other side a bit better. Sorry about the wobbly camera work. Anyway, we'll get this together and see how she goes. Alright guys, I made an ingenious invention. Uh, I had a spare pair of pliers. And some electrical tape so you guys can watch it hopefully on this one you might have to speed it up the last one took probably five minutes or so so here we go like well, i said this this old girl's done a few hours before i got to it so not much of this stuff would have ever come apart in the last 20 years Again, shag bearing. 
Excited though, on another rainy day. Maybe not that rainy today. Just for the fact that there's two of them. I was going to get some spares for these in case I broke them, but it's a public holiday today, so getting anything today is going to be pretty difficult. So, just winging it. If she comes, give her a clean up quickly. looking pretty worn but it will survive so I don't know if I mentioned these bearings are only a couple of bucks I bought them on eBay um, like I said 17 mil I just measured this kingpin here with the verniers mine happen to be 17 mil but might want to check with yours Should probably pack them a bit better, but that's a lazy mechanic in me. Plus, it's my machine. If I was doing it for someone else, I'd probably pay a bit more attention. Get one on there loosely. What we'll do is we'll lower the machine down, and then that with it sitting on the wheel, then we can tap it down.
don't force it, use a hammer as they say. Probably should look at getting some new ones of these, but like I said, public holiday today, so not much can do. I'd be probably getting some pretty decent air if I'm dropping kingpins out of the thing. Test drive. I added the final finishing touch there, nice little balls. So I gave it a quick drive. When it's stationary like this, it's not all that impressive, I must say. But once you're moving, that's a pretty, pretty impressive um, difference compared to previously. So it allows for more of this to be done uh, while doing the mowing. I'll take it for a quick drive. It's She's pretty noisy this one because she missed a few bolts out of the exhaust, so hang on. half an hour um, about a month wait from China for the bearings though anyway, enjoy